one. Yeah. Oh man, this was an incredible trip. We went to Bass Pro Shop, and the, for those of you that have not gone to Bass Pro, it is a, definitely a stop that you should check out. Just the we go there and we take a Santa's picture. And while we were there, we did a little shooting and took a look at some of the wall knives. Because we've all seen case knives. We've all seen the fancy knives. But here's a look at some of the current shreds and Gerbers and a few of the axes that kind of turn my eye. Like, what's happened to the company? And uh, old timer here. These are all made in China now. And they've got these pictures to deceive. Uh, showing the uh, cowboys passing the uh old timer back and forth probably what that's dad to son kind of thing some kind of heritage knife made in china i'm not pleased with the quality i'm not pleased with what this does to the brand at all um why um they really uh need to either keep up the quality or i don't know i, I just don't like what it does to the Schrade brand so as you can see right here, it is made in China and uh, yeah, wrapped in plastic. They got a lot of bins of Cabela knives. Now I don't mind this where Cabela takes a knife, puts their name on it. Maybe it's made by that company. All right, sure. But it's 420 uh, st steel there. So it probably would take on an all right edge, but it's the hardware that usually is the problem with these Chinese made knives. The edge retaining is average, um, you know, but when it comes to the hardware, you know, you get your rivet stock and you get some other stuff that's really expensive that they cut corners on. And that's where these knives split apart and cause you some real issues. Um, just zooming in on the made in China it is written very s small and they don't even put it on the blades or the, uh, uh, it's, it's really difficult. I mean, is it made in China? I don't know. You got, kind of got to zoom in on it. Uh, they do it even to the multi-tools. Um, there's no stamping on it at all signifying made in China. Um, it's, it's very deceiving. It's, I don't like it. So we're just going to transition to, this is my daughter and I, and we're just kind of just babbling about some knives that are on the wall. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, happy holidays. Take care. And then we have uh, a lot of the Gerber stuff made, being made in China now too. This one looks really nice though. Looks nice, good design. It's got a pretty cool sheath design, but made in China again. The Gerber axes are still made in Finland. These look really nice. I've had one of these. They take a really nice edge. I like that one. Actually, that's the one I have right there. Still made in Finland, I believe. Let's see, $44 for that. Made in Taiwan. Yeah, that's typically what they do. Once something becomes popular, they'll transfer it over to Taiwan, which I don't have a problem with, it, actually. SOG does a lot of that. Um, and Taiwan makes some good stuff. That's nice. This is a nice one. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. That's a buck two eight four. Where's that made at? Made in USA, right there. Ooh, that's pretty. They have some really nice designs. Sog's a little bit more aggressive though. Camillus, lifetime warranty though. Made in China, right there. Fortunately, good design though. All the Chinese made knives. Ooh, I like that one also. You know what's so funny is I just sold a knife just like that. Really? It's an older design. I like that design, huh? How much is that? Mm -hmm. Let's look at Buck stuff here. It's $29.99. Ooh, $29. Oh, look at that. Wait, no, no, no. That's the bigger USA. version. That's the bigger version. Why would you buy a Gerber for that? When you can get a made in USA <laughs> knife for the same price. So this is the same price as that Gerber I was looking at. Oh, it's $24.99. Yeah, it's $25. So this American made, really good design, huh? Pretty cool. And then this would be the Chinese Gerber. Um, well, here's one. That's $27. Number one selling. 
made in China. So made in China is not really affecting the prices. That's 27 bucks. And that's, well, that's pretty, it's pretty much about the same type of knife. This is 20, Ooh, 25. hey, Gripper's got a USA knife for 10 bucks. Get out of here. Oh my goodness, I might just get that to try it out. Made in USA, look at that, sweetie. Let's see if Buck has something like that, okay? Something small, really small, something like that. Maybe, we'll take a look at that one. We might test out one of these knives. There's another Gerber right here. That's 12 bucks. Made in China, so it's not really affecting the pricing at all. And that's a little bit too big. You know what, that's like their smallest one. But look at that, that's like pocket carry. No, Buck really doesn't have a really skinny pocket carry. Or one for 10 bucks. So their cheapest one is an American made Gerber. How cool. Oh, here we go. Here's a Buck for $20. That's about the cheapest you're gonna get. And then, oh, here's a Buck. Look at that, check that one out. Look at this one, sweetie. There's their pocket carry. You get two knives for $19.97. That is an incredible deal. Wow, okay. So there's our cheap options for today. Look at that. We've got a uh, Gerber made in USA and that, because we don't consider really the Chinese made knives because we just have, have had no luck with those whatsoever. Um, this one grabbed your eye too, huh? That's pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, hey, I think this is gonna be a cool video. Checking out the Buck Knives and the Gerbers. And we touched on the Sogs a little bit, the Shrades, those are all Chinese made. And then, uh, yeah, so we're just gonna focus on that. Go for the Cool.